What's up, people? I am back for another video. <clears throat> Today, I wanted, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, because this has been <clears throat> a thing that I've been, like, noticing for a fucking, I don't know, like, maybe the last few years. And not even with just movies, like, cause that's the, the movies and trailers in general, I'll be talking about this, but even, and I, don't, I haven't talked about wrestling in a while, but I might even just touch on that a little bit, <clears throat> where I just feel like, and I'll preface by saying this, I like old rap, I do, like a lot of like 80, late, some 80s, but a more like 90s, and some early 2000s stuff, yeah, but... I'm just gonna be fucking real. I don't think a lot of it vibes with movie trailers. Um, but this over-reliance on hip-hop and trailers now, like, where it's literally in every fucking trailer, every game trailer, every movie trailer, especially if it's, like, action. I was even kind of noticing this back when, well, this is, like, 2021, I guess this would have been, when Trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong came out. They did that with that, and I'm like, why are you playing hip hop in that? Like, for Godzilla and Kong, you probably should play like some, like kind of just you know I guess you you kind of call it trailer music or whatever, <laughs> you know some big booming sounds. It's kind of all you really need. You don't need anything like that. And then with obviously the newest Transformers, the whole movie in general. But like it's because it it's like the studio is trying to be hip with the kids. And this isn't me just saying this because I love rock and metal and I think oh that. And I, to an extent, do think that. I do miss, like, with Mortal Kombat. Like, with, this, I think it was MK11. They did, they put hip-hop in that trailer. And it's like, you either should play the old Mortal Kombat music, or you do that, in since you do play, like, metal music. I, you know, <laughs> it probably wouldn't bother me as much. If, if there was, like, balance, you know, <clears throat> where not every fucking trailer they did it, but it's, like, almost every trailer now. <clears throat> and it's only done, I don't know why it's done. I, I think the biggest reason it's probably because the whole, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a lame attempt to try to get quote-unquote black people, but I just don't. You, <clears throat> You don't, black people who are going to play Mortal Kombat are going to play Mortal Kombat regardless if you play fucking, let's say, like, hip-hop in the trailer. Cause, you know, if they like Mortal Kombat, they're just going to buy the Mortal Kombat game, the Mortal Kombat. Or if they like Godzilla and Kong, they're going to watch that movie anyway. You don't need to put, because, like, Godzilla, that just, just doesn't belong. It's, and then it's just, that's the biggest problem I have with it. It's just the music doesn't fit a lot of the time. It's distracting. It almost becomes, when I hear that in trailers, I'm like, I can't even get into the trailer for the movie because it's, I'm so distracted by this music. Like, Godzilla and Kong is like probably the biggest one where I'm like, why are you playing this? This doesn't fit. This is clearly like studio thinks, oh, the kids are listening to this now. So we got to play that here. And it just doesn't make any sense with, Godzilla, like I said, it should be like kind of just epic trailer music. Kind of like the music that was in, as much as I don't like the movie, the 2014, the trailer for that. The music for that is kind of what should be in a Godzilla trailer. Not fucking mo some rap song. Fucking every video game trailer, we gotta have rap in it because it's, we gotta be hip. And it's just distracting. They'll even do it in shit where it just doesn't make any sense. Like Mortal Kombat. Like, Mortal Kombat should not... It, it either should be metal, or you just do the Mortal Kombat music. I probably lean towards the first one. Just do the Mortal Kombat music. That's all really the trailer needs. You know? And it's this isn't me shitting on rap itself. It's just... But it's become a tired just thing. It's just every fucking trailer. Or almost every trailer. It'd be one thing if there was balance and, like, every now and then we got it. Besides, like, the Guardians trailers, and that's just because those movies are almost designed to have that music. It was designed from, like, the inception with those movies. So it's, like, that's an exception to the fucking rule, right? Um, 
but I just kind of, I'm not against music and trailers, but I think there needs to be, if it fits, something like an action movie. I feel like an action trailer, if you're going to do music, it should be metal. Sorry. Like, Expendables 1. You know what they played in their trailer for the first for the first trailer run when that first movie came out? They played uh, was Paradise City. I remember that was like the thing that hooked me when I saw the trailer for that. I'm like, oh shit. Like, they played music that fit the fucking tone of the movie. Transformers, whatever you think of the Linkin Park songs, I actually think those fit the movie. They don't, they're good songs, but I actually think they fit the movie. But they, they at a time, understood, okay, this music, like, the, fuck, the perfect example is The Crow, right? The soundtrack for that, where that fits the whole movie. You know, and then probably, I don't remember if one of the trailers played, like, a song from the movie, but they did, it fit. Now it's like, no, we just gotta play hip-hop because we gotta be hip with the kids. And it's some lame attempt to... to it, it really does come off like, howdy, fellow kids. Like, it really comes off like that. Even in wrestling. And wrestling is like, if you go back, one of the best things about pay-per-views was the theme songs. Like, if you're going, like, height of the Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression Era, one of the greatest, the greatest things was the fucking soundtrack. Well, not the soundtrack, but, like, the, the pay-per-view themes. But no, that fell into that trap too. Like, no, we gotta play hip hop and rap, not even just rap, like fucking pop and all this shit because it's like we gotta fit in with the kids and it's it's that's really what it, it's cringy boomer shit. Like, oh well, it, you know we're old, so we don't understand. We're out of touch with kids, so we kids like hip hop. They like that hip hop, right? Let's play that in the trailer. I don't know <coughs> if they're listening to some weird data, <coughs> some focus group, <coughs> whoever these are. <coughs> I'm not even saying completely get rid of hip hop and trailers. If it fits the movie, <coughs> cool. Like Deadpool, perfect example. You want to know what raps on that fit a fucking trailer? X gonna give it to you for fucking Deadpool, the first one. <coughs> that was a case where the music fit. I don't know what happened to the trailer people. Like, they, back then, and granted, I can't even say back then, this was 2016. <clears throat> it's like they understood, okay, this song's gonna fit the tone of the trailer and tone of the movie. <clears throat> but it's like, now, it's just like, we gotta do it, especially with modern. And, like, and I, yeah, I can go into, like, a lot of the times the songs they play are fucking garbage. So, there is that aspect about it. But even when they play, like, um, Rise of the Beast played a lot of '90s music. I think for the trailers, it was a, um, it was a DMX song. Oh, uh, Rough Riders. I think it was Rough Riders. That anthem, great song, doesn't fit Transformers. So there are cases where it's a good song, and it just doesn't fit the movie or the video game. I just kind of want to get back. If you're gonna do music, just have a balance. Every now and then, do a fucking rock song in a trailer. Not just, oh, we gotta always do hip-hop because focus group says we have to. Because I, I don't even know what it's for. It, it distracts me from the trailer. A lot of times it just takes me out of the movie. You know, or your movie trailer, or video game trailer, whatever. It's like... <coughs> I'm gonna go back to this one. <coughs> I think Godzilla vs. Kong was easily the worst one. <laughs> worst case of that, because it's like... <laughs> like, I don't think... In, I honestly would even have a problem with a little bit with rock, too. I'm like... <laughs> Godzilla should be, like, epic movie music, not... You know, actual song. I just don't think it works. <laughs> or, if you want to be cheeky, do, like, you know, Blue Oyster Cult, go, go, Godzilla, but... <laughs> With Godzilla, though, Godzilla vs. Kong should have just been epic movie music for the trailer. You didn't need <coughs> a generic hip-hop song, so. I've wanted to vet about this for a while, because this has just been a problem the last few years. Like I said, not even saying don't put hip-hop in trailers, but put it where it fits. <coughs> have a balance where we do other genres occasionally, too. Not just do, oh, we only can do hip-hop because that's all we can do. So it, it's it, that needs that shit needs to end. So 
<clears throat> but other than that, um, tomorrow, um, I'll figure out, I, I think I might try to do the top 10 wrestling video tomorrow, we'll see, if not, I might just not do that this weekend, but for sure, I will be talking about Extraction 2 on Sunday, that, dude, Extraction 2 was fucking lit, that, like, the, along with, like, because I love the first one, I really like the first one, but this, the second one definitely. Beats it. I'm sorry, and I'll talk about that more. Cause I'll I'll go back and review the first one. Maybe we'll see. I'll see what I can do next week. But uh, yeah, because this one was this was fucking awesome. Chris Hemsworth. If I was him, I'd say fuck Marvel. Just do the extraction movies. These the like it is nice to just have like a nice resurgence of just cool action film. I've been kind of wanting that for a while. So can't wait to talk about that on Sunday. But I just kind of want to get my thoughts about this, because I feel like this has been a thing that's been going on too fucking long, and it needs to be addressed, so. Studios, maybe every now and then play different fucking genres of music, you know, that the, they exist, right? You used to understand that, you had a balance back then, now it's just, no, we gotta always do hip-hop in every fucking trailer. And not even just, like I said, not just video movies, video games, TV show trailers, it's, it's like, god, anyway. Take one more hit and I'll uh, talk to y'all tomorrow. Or, or at least definitely Sunday. So if not tomorrow, definitely Sunday. But as, as usual. <laughs>